Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I've got uh, some backlog and letters from Dawn from overseas, and I want to start. I, I did the one for October 1st, but for some reason it didn't record, and I'm moving on to the second one because I already did it twice. I got interrupted by a phone call on the first one. It must not be, I don't know, it, it wasn't phenomenal. I don't know why Satan would try to block it. It wasn't anything like this one's going to be. <laughs> Jesus, I ask you to not let anything happen while I record this one. First, this starts off, Small Straws in a Soft Wind by Marsha Burns. When remembering the past, do not dwell on the things that were upsetting and unjust, but focus on that which helped you grow and develop spiritually. Allow the things of the earth to grow dim so that the things of eternity will go bright. Leave your sorrows behind and move on. The verse given is Philippians 3, 13-14. Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do. This must be King James Version. I do not count myself to have apprehended. Understood everything? But one thing I do. Forgetting those things which are behind... And reaching forward to those things which are ahead, I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. That's right. This is a message given to somebody named Roxanne. I've heard of her. I might have even shared some of her messages in the past. It was probably either sent by Roxanne or, or maybe Dawn found it on 444 Prophecy News. I don't know. It's titled, Tell Them Again. Message received September 30th of 2021. Again, was received by Roxanne. Tell my people I love them. Tell them again. There are rules and boundaries I put in place. Laws to protect you, keep you in place, safe. Not the enemy's definition of safe, mine. Do not give your ear to the enemy's many voices. Does he produce guilt in your heart? Demand you to stay home? lock you out of your jobs or places of travel this is only the beginning those who are mine i will provide a way out and will remove you from the grasp of the enemy stay stand stay strong do not bow to him ask me i will show you the way trust me Seasons are changing, and so are my judgments. There is some glimmer of normalcy within your seasons. Do not be fooled. The enemy has ways of affecting nature, going against my plans and creation. Children, remember I use him for my goodness and glory. Sometimes it is harsh. It is to bring my children home, not drive them away. We are in a time, pray without ceasing. We are in a time, pray without ceasing. I wonder if there's a word absent from that. Anyway, moving on. Remember those who despise you or cause upset in your daily life? Your prayers matter. They change and move mountains. Seek me diligently wherever you are, and I will meet you. Thank you, Jesus. As the enemy devises his plans and continually schemes, I am also releasing my next round of judgments. Very few have come. Very few of those who are called by my name 
have repented. Very few of those who are called by my name have repented. This next round of judgments will be very large, abrupt, and quickly come and go. Yet the loss of life and damage will be monumental. Insurance companies will fold because of it. Make, makes me wonder, just pause for a second, all the fires that were going on out in California and Washington and that Oregon area. How many of those people would have had insurance for that, right? I'm surprised there's any insurance company still paying out anything. Now what's next? The tsunami. How many buildings will topple? Yeah, insurance companies will fold. And it's all intentional. They're all so at the top of the Illuminati. Insurance is such a scam. It is, I get, I keep getting offer after offer after offer for life insurance at my age with my health well they don't know how how bad or good it is they just know that they aren't going to have to pay out if it's a, a death caused by a certain thing or because there's a crash in the economy oops sorry i know you did buy into that and you've been paying faithfully for two years but we don't have any money left. Oops. Yeah. My children who understand these things pray for mercy, lost souls, and safety for those who call themselves by my name. Pray. Excuse me. <coughs> oh my goodness. That's enough of that. No more sneezing. All right, my children who understand these things, pray for mercy, lost souls, and safety for those who call themselves by my name. That is, if they have not received the Abaddon sheep slaughter. Okay, maybe you can figure that out. C is the third letter of the alphabet. It stands for Abaddon. Ovid means sheep in Latin. Yeah, Jan, Don, Jonathan Klepp got that nugget. He does get some nuggets, but I would not recommend his channel because he gets things from sources that I think are otherworldly, and I don't mean from God. Okay, the word 19 means slaughter. Go figure that out. Pray, let's see. Pray for mercy, lost souls, and safety for those who call themselves by my name. Pray they read my word and seek me. Count your losses. Count your blessings. I am the God of all, King of kings and Lord of lords. I do love my people and especially wish the lost and sinners to come to me. Abandon your evil ways and broken lives. Come. Come one, come all. Children, remember he who is last will be first. They are not all mine. They have to choose to be mine and believe. Children, do not live in fear. I will protect you amidst the disasters that come to your region. If not, you will be in glory with me. No fear or worry, no pain or sorrow. You are here until either you see me come in the clouds or you come home to glory. Be bold, remember who you are. I live in you. You will do even greater things than I. Cast off every thought of unbelief and trust me. We will do this together. You never walk alone. 
You are chosen for this time and age, given with the message, with, oh, given with the message out of the Amplified Bible. This person, uh, who did I say got this? Uh, Roxanne. John three sixteen through 18. For God so greatly loved and dearly prized the world that he even gave his one and only begotten Son so that whoever believes and trusts in him as Savior shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send the Son into the world to judge and condemn the world, that is, to initiate the final judgment of the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes and has decided to trust in him as personal Savior and Lord is not judged. For this one, there is no judgment, no rejection, no condemnation. But the one who does not believe and has decided to reject him as personal Savior and Lord is judged already. That one has been convicted and sentenced because he has not believed and trusted in the name of the one and only begotten Son of God, the one who is truly unique, the only one of his kind, the one who alone can save him. 1 Peter 2, 9. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a consecrated nation, a special people for God's own possession, so that you may proclaim the excellencies, the wonderful deeds and virtues and perfections of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Revelation 6, 16-17 says, verse 16, And they called to the mountains and the rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne, and from the righteous wrath and indignation of the Lamb. For the great day of their wrath and vengeance and retribution has come. And who is able to face God and stand before the wrath of the Lamb? You know who's he's seeing saying this? John is seeing this vision. These are the, the rich, the elite, the, the rulers of the world who've got their cells nice bunkers made underground. They enter into what looks like a cave. The, the road goes right into the side of a mountain. Looks like a big cave. Doors will slide open. They'll drive in and doors will shut. And they think that's going to protect them from what is to come. I have a feeling they got another thing coming. All right. John 1, 1 to 5. In the beginning, before all time, was the Word, or Christ. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God himself. He was continually existing in the beginning co-eternally with God. <coughs> Verse 3. All things were made and came into existence through him, and without him not even one thing was made that has come into being. In him was life and the power to bestow life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness, and the darkness did not understand it, or overpower it, or appropriate it, or absorb it, and is unreceptive to it. Psalms 82, verses 6 and 7. All right, verse 6. I said, you are God's the little g. Indeed, all of you are sons of the Most High. Verse 7. I don't know what version this is, but I remember reading something like that. 
Nevertheless, you will die like men and fall like any one of the princes. Yeah, nobody is like God. Okay, this one's dated October 2nd. Wait a minute, I'm on October 2nd, aren't I? Yeah. It's just this last one. Oh, two little ones. Something which once worked is no longer working. It is causing problems that you do not want to deal with. You have a faint remembrance of what you need to do. Let others know who also heard what to do. With many working on the problem, the solution will be accomplished. My body on earth is gifted to accomplish what now needs to be done. It will take longer, but many will have a sense of accomplishment. That, that's for somebody. You'll understand it if it's for you. In the NASB Bible, 1 Corinthians 12, 11 and 12, it says, But one and the same Spirit works all these things, distributing to each one individually, just as he wills. For even as the body is one, and yet has many members, and all the members of the body, though they are many, are one body, so also is Christ. And that was received by Bev Robinson. The last one here says, This is a new day for restoration. You have wondered if this situation will ever end. I tell you, this day, the regeneration towards rejuvenation has begun. You will see a little progress at first, but then after a while you will notice that things have drastically changed for the better. You have held the line and spoken belief. I am responding and hearing and acting on your behalf. Look up, for your redemption is coming. Oh, wow. Luke 21, 28 in the KJV says, And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. And what a way to end it, huh? That is a promise to us. Keep looking up. This was given to Robin Robinson Bowen. All right. I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over each and every one of us and our devices and our internet connections. And may it be the Lord's will that we stay in touch until we're out of here. And for those who get left behind, you remember the things I've mentioned, taught, shared in the past couple of weeks. Do not give up. There is a big, huge Wheat harvest coming up for the multitude too large to number. You just need a little more refinement. There's something in your life you need to get rid of. We're coming back to help you with that. And don't forget, Jesus will never leave you nor forsake you. Don't forget, okay? All right. And never, never, never take the Abdon sheep slaughter thing okay all right bye for now y'all i'll talk to you again soon